Can we talk about James Bond for a minute? Um, he's awesome. He's a horrible human being who kills people and uh, treats women poorly. But he does it for the good guys. And that's why we seem to like him. Uh, <laughs> Everybody loves a James Bond movie. Um, it's fantasy in a semi-real world. Uh, spy thrillers, and I love movies. Uh, you may not know that about me. Um, and James Bond is fantastic. And I've been really enjoying uh, the most recent book, the most recent movies. And uh, yeah, so I haven't really read any James Bond's books, but I guess I should, because uh, that's where they started. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to make a classic dry martini. Um, we're going to do it stirred, despite the fact what James Bond's in the past have said. Um, although one of them happened, you know. You know the one I'm talking about. I'm looking at you, Daniel Craig. You know. He's so dreamy. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a dry uh, martini today. And uh, yeah, you just need gin. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna make a vodka martini. I'm not gonna make a vodka martini. Um, Cause I would rather have gin. Uh, and that's what's classic. But if you wanna make a vodka martini, just replace the gin with vodka, and I will do my best not to judge you. I'm looking at you. So, um, two and a half ounces of gin, an ounce of our dry vermouth, and a couple shots, uh, one to two dashes of um, orange bitters. Now, I will say, uh, this is a stirred drink, so I will say that um, a lot of people don't understand vermouth. And people make this mistake, and I've made this mistake in the past, where it's like you're having a Negroni or you're having a cocktail, I mean, a, a martini, and you're like, I, this is horrible. This is disgusting. I don't know what went wrong. I put everything in there right. It's because this is not a liqueur or a spirit. This is a wine. And the moment you open this, you have to put it in the fridge, and it won't last that long. You know, you have to, it'll go rancid. And so chances are, if you've made a drink with vermouth and it tasted disgusting, it's rancid vermouth. You can't leave it in your liquor cabinet. You got to put it in your refrigerator when you're done. So um, there's a tip for you. Uh, we're going to do two and a half ounces of our gin or vodka. Um, half an ounce is over here. There we go. And then we're going to do... A full ounce of our sweet vermouth. I'm using the Gallo. I'm using the cheap stuff that I can find around here because um, I can't, you know, I don't have any of the cool, the cool stuff. There we go. And then we want uh, one to two dashes of orange bitters. I like what bitters brings to a cocktail, so I'm going to do two. There we go. And then it's a stirred drink. And the idea behind stirring a drink is we're really just, we're cooling it down and we're diluting it, just like shaking. But because we don't have any juice or anything that we need to emulsify into the drink, we don't need to do things like, you know, shake it. You know, we need to stir it. And that's, I think, yeah, that's cold to the touch. That's good. Um, and uh, I chilled my martini glass because I'm trying to be fancy for you guys. If you were ordering this in a cocktail lounge or something like that, it would be chilled. You would have a chilled cocktail. And so we're going to put our strainer in here. And we're going to serve it like this. Now to garnish, we really wouldn't garnish it. But we can use the zest of a lemon. So I'm going to go get my lemon. We've got our lemon. Mine has a little butt on it. Um, and we're just going to take like a nice good peel off of it. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're not using it. We're just going to squeeze it over there and rub it on the outside of the glass to give it that extra nose. And then we're going to throw it away. And there is our gin martini. And I'm going to try this. This is our dry martini. Okay, so you really have to, um, I like the lemon on that. You really have to like 
vodka or gin. If you don't like vodka or gin, don't order a martini. Um, Cause this is very, I get the gin, I get a little bit of the orange bitters. The vermouth is nice. It cuts a little bit of the um, harsh botanical quality of the gin. And when you're using your gin, you really want to use a London dry gin if you're going to be making a martini, because this is a dry martini, we're going to London dry gin. I got mine from Costco, because again, we go for quantity in my house, not necessarily quality. Um, but the better the gin, uh, you can use Tanqueray. That would be fantastic in this. Um, uh, the better. And then our, our, our dry vermouth. Uh, I... I'm filming a couple of these in a row today, and I like. I'm not gonna be honest. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. I uh, I enjoyed the pina colada we just did, but this yeah, this is like you get all of the little botanical notes. It's so. Uh, I really enjoy this drink. The orange bitters, I'm glad I put two dashes in there, um, really does add like a depth. And again, bitters is just like your salt and pepper of your cocktails. So uh, yeah, if you are a fan of gin or vodka, go ahead and make this. If you're not, just uh, watch the next episode. And remember to, uh, you know, like the video and subscribe it and all that nonsense. Um, so that uh, one of these days, maybe YouTube will be like, hey, Tom, do you, uh, do you want some money for this? And I'd be like, what? <sighs> but until then, uh, I'm going to enjoy Daniel Craig's uh, cocktail here. And it's not the Vesper. That's a little, I, I can't afford half that stuff. That's, that was a lot of stuff. Well, see you next week.